Hi, welcome to a short instruction of the JF Energy Harvester. There's a few important items I want to go through. Uh, you can read about all this in the manual, but I decided just to show you to make sure that everything is okay. First of all, we have here a female ju junction. Uh, this is an open return, it comes from the hydraulic motors. We always keep this as a female part, so you will never make any mistakes. If you put pressure into this one, the hydraulic motors will be damaged right away. So always keep this as a female junction, mount it to the tractor and it'll be okay. The saw blades in this harvester are running by two hydraulic motors. In this tractor we have 160 liters of oil per minute and we use about 80% of the oil for the saw blades turning. This gives us about 2,500 RPM in the saw blade and it works very well. About the saw blades, if you are harvesting big willow or if something gets stuck, you will discover that the saw blades will stop turning and you can of course have the trees. If this happens, stop the tractor, take out the key because this is a very dangerous end of the harvester. We have a tool here to grab the saw blade, you take this to the saw blade, squeeze it, then you can pull the saw blade backwards and this will release the, the saw blade from getting stuck. Um, out here we have all the bells inside here. The small bells are turning the saw blades, the big bells are turning the feeding drums here. In the morning you check that you can uh, turn these in about a quarter of a round, feel them, they're good and tight, and they should be good to go. In the saw blades we have a greasing point in the bottom of each saw blade. There's a, you can use an allen key, loosen the bolt, put up the grease gun and grease it. And of course lock the allen key bolt afterwards. Um, here I can show you how to sharpen the saw blades. This tool is provided with the machine. Turn it in here, then you can turn the sharpening stone to the, to the rotor knives. Always wear your glasses and gloves and everything because this makes a lot of sparks. Turn on the tractor before you take the sharpening stone to the to the knives, take it up to working speed, 1000 RPM, turn the sharpening stone until you see the sparks, then you go all the way in and out, four or five times, and stop the tractor and release again. If you have a rainy day, take off this cover, and take off this cover as well. Make a small inspection here. Are all the bolts okay? Are all the knives okay? Turn the rotor completely. Uh, and check maybe as if you can have been harvesting a stone, and you can have a damaged knife, you can have a damaged bolt. Replace it and always rotate it. Watch your fingers. Here you can see you have two bolts on the rotor shaft. Um, these bolts we check quite often. There's one here and you have one on the other side. We tighten them with about 220 newton. With these bolts you can adjust the rotor close to the counter knife which is placed in the bottom. You can, rot you can pull it to the counter knife and you can take it away. Between the knife here and the rotor, the counter knife you will have about two millimeters of space of clearance. And this is a rather important part, but it's not a daily thing, but if you have a rainy day, go there, have a look. Here, if, if you will have a lot of willow and you have an overload situation, then the, soap, the, the feeding drums here will stop 
You will hear a big noise in the tractor of a clicking sound. Of course, immediately stop the PTO, put it in neutral, stop the tractor, take away the key. Inside here, you have the gearbox and you have the rotor. The rotor pulls this. This is a kind of a safety clutch. This will release at about 400 Newton, and that means an overload. Uh, so it will just be clicking and turning, but the feeding drums will not turn. Clear it from the willow, take them out. If it's very stuck, you can take away the cover we saw here. You can put the rotor, turn it backwards, and you will slowly release the willow. Be sure that both platforms are released. Then you can assemble it again and start the tractor, and you should be going. We have a PTO provided with the harvester. This is set for about 205 horsepower. Um, the harvester is not meant to have more than 250 horsepower. But if you'll see after some time using this, and you have uh, this is getting warm or it starts to smoke, you can turn it one third of a round in e bolt and put it more together, making it stronger. Don't just pull it, uh, pull it away and tighten it, then you can damage both the tractor and the harvester. When you have a new machine, after you've been harvesting for about one or two hours, have a wish or a check, feel that everything is okay, tighten all the bolts you can see, just to make sure that everything is okay. New machines, new parts, new bolts, everything can be a little bit loose, so tighten it, and make sure if, if everything is okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day.